Hey, welcome to the inaugural episode of Thoughts Between the Railheads. I'm Rob, and uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I can ramble a lot. So, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Dean. How you doing? My name is Dean Taylor. I'm also a rambler. I'm making sure it says so. The, uh, I'm the, uh, the idea behind Thoughts Between the Railheads, Thoughts Between the Railheads on my YouTube channel is going to be kind of like a life coaching model railroad show. It's going to be more of how when people get this idea in their head they can't do it, I'm going to show you how you can do it best way to become a model railroader and a good model railroader is to make a lot of mistakes. And that's what makes a good model railroader. Um, who was it? It was, it was, a purist that said a master is the one that's made the most mistakes. So, I mean, every master's failed, everybody's going to. We're going to get into where we talk to a lot of the innovators in the hobby also modelers and uh, talk to some like historical societies are doing really good things. Uh, it's not going to be a how-to, it's going to be a how we do and every great teacher he always wants his students to do better. If I show you a technique and you try it and you say hey if I do this it works better, man give it back, you know, tell me half what you did and I'll be happy to use it. I'm all about being easy. A uh, little bit of background on me, uh, former veteran. Uh, I've got a PhD in history, which is totally useless with a West Virginia accent because that marries your career path down to where by gravel won't fit on it. Oh yeah, by God. Go WVU, hell John Denver. So with that, I hope to see a lot of y'all on the channel and hope to all three of us together can bring out some really nice stuff. Well, all right, so we, we went over our script before we started, and Dean totally went off script, and this is only episode one, so ah, get ready for some more off script action. Uh, so my name is Rob. Uh, I'm Army all the way, even though I've been retired for about eight years, I still feel my inner warrior every single day, and just to caveat on that. You're never a former veteran. You're a veteran. Uh, you misspoke, but I'll fix that in editing. No, I won't. Former first sergeant here as well, so we're all veterans. He so. said former? Former first sergeant. That's not where former. We're, you said former veteran. See, that's the difference between Air Force and Army. See, it's already started. The uh, entertainment is here, so keep coming back every single month and watching this show. But my name's Rob, former first sergeant, retired Army, and I worked for uh, Norfolk Southern for three years. Dwight used to be my boss, and uh, since Dwight's birthday was yesterday, I invited him to be on the inaugural episode. So my wife's the camera woman, and she's over there giggling right now. And uh, so between all of us, we have a lot of experience about life, and you're probably going to hear a little bits of it here and there. I got three years of experience as a conductor on NS, and uh, Dwight will tell you his experiences here shortly. If you're familiar with my my uh, videos that I've been posting for about two years now, you know I can talk a lot, and uh, I'm still nervous behind the camera, but I guess it's going to be okay. But there is a, a lot of good stuff in the future for this uh, program. Uh, we are not trying to be what's neat, you know, 2.0, even though we're going to be a lot better than what's neat. So I was going to say what's cool is what we're going to be talking about because we're going to be talking to people, we're going to be talking to manufacturers, and we're going to be talking to individuals who have made an impact in uh, model railroading, and I think it's going to be good. So keep coming back. Thank Dwight. You, I'm Dwight. Uh, I was a uh, first sergeant in the Army when I retired, and uh, like Rob, I went to work for the Norfolk Southern right after I got out of the military, and I worked as a train master for uh, 14 years, and best boss I ever had <clears throat> and uh, I didn't have the experience that Rob had as being on the ground and on the freight trains and working locals but uh, I kind of got a better insight into the operational aspects of the railroading the service of the customers and why we made Rob do things he didn't want to do every day <laughs> so 
I, I got a kind of a unique uh, perspective on that. I've uh, been a model railroader since I was 16. Uh, once I joined the Army, that kind of all went uh, on a hiatus and uh, really didn't get back into it until I uh, retired. And I, I was a big Burlington route fan. My uncle worked on the Burlington route and he got me hooked on railroading. And uh, when I was in high school, uh, I lived alongside the Milwaukee Road tracks in my hometown. So I uh, spent a lot of time with the Milwaukee. So those are my two favorite railroads that I like to model. And uh, I really didn't get back into uh, model railroading until Rob, I retired in 2020 and Rob had finally pretty much threatened me to come down and visit his layout. And I came down and visited his layout and got bit by the bug and Rob has uh, inspired me greatly. And I'm I, an inspiration. In the last three years, my <laughs> hobby is it's taken off quite a bit from what it was, uh, doing things that I had never even imagined doing. And uh, it's, it's been a good experience. Uh, Rob is, uh, what are you, my sounding board? When I've got questions, and we can talk back and forth quite a bit about doing uh, stuff. I don't know, I don't know, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so, you can say so, that, you can say that. Rob is, is far more experienced than I am, but uh, I'm, I'm modern railroading. Rob is steamed transitional era railroading. So uh, we got a kind of a unique perspective on things. What are you, Steve? Uh, no, actually, I'm like from 56 to 76. Well, that's okay. kind of a transition to semi-modern. Yeah. I, I see that. That would be an interesting show. Um, looking forward to it. Me too. <laughs> and I would like to talk about how that uh, when I do all my layout building, I do it all using the Toma method, and thank God Joe Fugate figured out a name for it. That I just called building it in boxes. But by using modules, I can guarantee you that you will build a much better layout because you can focus on one thing at a time. A lot of new modelers and stuff like that, they get caught at the time. in the, uh, in the, the plywood jun junction stage, they just get lost. But doing the Toma, you can do your scenery, your wiring, and everything. Plus, the add benefit. Layouts don't age. We age. I don't. I don't bend down anymore. Using the Toma thing, Toma method, you can unscrew it, take a guitar string, and cut your scenery, pull it out, flip it over, fix your wiring. You ain't got to bend over. You ain't got to hit your head. You ain't got to get solder in your eyes. It's a great thing. That's just about all I got to say about that. Solder in the eyes. Yeah, that's fun. I wouldn't know. No. Because I wear my safety glasses. <laughs> See, I'm not going to lie. I'm, my whole life is nothing but a series of OSHA violations. <laughs> they were going to name the OSHA book after me last year. Uh, I believe the, you got your own chapter. I do. <laughs> did Dean I, say I do only, it? I only got a page. Yeah, did Dean say do it? Then don't do it. The, uh, the, uh, you'll also see between me and Rob, we, we use different stuff and that's going to be kind of fun. I'm not, I'm not a big styrofoam guy. I'm just not, I, I think it creates limitations. Rob likes it because he thinks he can model better or get better form out of it. Because I look at it like I'm having to build the world backwards. <laughs> but that's going to be fun to get into. And that's, that's all I got to say. Yeah, I think, uh, well, I, I'm not going to say I'm a big fan of styrofoam, but you have different types of foam. You got the white styrofoam, which I have a, a ton of, <clears throat> and then I have a lot of green foam. I like the green foam for my base just so I can carve into it and do what I want. And I have plenty of room with that two inch foam to dig down and put in ditches and culverts and whatever else, you know, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm open to different techniques as well. And I think, you know, our newfound friendship is gonna, you know, open my eyes to some things too, because even though I'm getting older every day, I still think I can learn some new things. And uh, we'll see, we'll see in the future. But there's, and also we're gonna have every now and then we'll have little uh, short things like trash to track side where you can take stuff that you didn't think would work on layout and you use that on the layout. Take take you to stores that doesn't sell train stuff, but actually they do sell train stuff. 
it's going to be really interesting. I learned a whole lot of these techniques. Not well because I'm cheap. That's why I did it. But yeah, other than that, I agree. I'm looking looking to have fun doing this. And if you would please look at, look up my YouTube channel, Thoughts Between the Railheads. Click like and subscribe. I promise I'll have something on there. I'm also having a podcast of the same name, and I'll have it on air here real soon. The stagehand showed up. Uh, yeah, we just uh, Elvis and Ra have entered the building, and uh, those are my great Danes, and uh, they're they're in some videos here and there. But uh, evidently, Ra needs his mama and opened the door somehow, and uh, here they are. That's all right. I had something I was going to say, and I totally totally lost it. <laughs> this is entertaining for sure. So where are we at on time? Eleven minutes? Five, that we're at five minutes to go for sixteen. So just over ten minutes, right around ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. So, so what, you wanna you wanna any, you wanna elaborate on anything? Or? Yeah, no sad, really. No, right. You got nothing. Yeah, this is the first. Yeah. So let me tell you a few things about Dwight. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna. But uh, uh, Dwight's a good dude, and uh, I enjoyed it when he was my boss. And I will, I will end. What, what is you guys? You got anything else to say? We're we gonna do a closing statement. I don't. Before I tell my story. I don't really have a whole lot to say. I just, I hope y'all, uh, y'all believe in the faith and just log on to mine, push the subscribe button. Did you say yours? Yeah, that's the thoughts between the rails. YouTube group. Oh, it's not the it's not the the happy cool hole and whatever. No. Oh, I must have missed that part. I missed the dolls. Well, go ahead, say it again. My YouTube channel is called Thoughts Between the Railheads, and that's what the uh, when I was in college, you have to take a bunch of useless classes. I wound up having to take two semesters of. Uh, God bless. I always get it mixed up. Not psychology, philosophy. And I just got intrigued with it, and there's just a whole lot of metaphors in philosophy that you can use in model railroading. So you'll catch a couple of them things too. That's just about it. Me. All right. Nothing for you? None for me. All right. Well, in closing, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share this video. Go check out Thoughts Between the Railheads. Uh, and we will see you in a month, unless we get a whole ton of views, and then we'll see you in two weeks. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.